Hello, and welcome to Gray Cap Knits. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to do a provisional cast on using a crochet hook. Now, the size of your crochet hook doesn't matter too much. Uh, most patterns will call for a specific size, but it doesn't really matter. As long as you can get it done with your yarn and your needles, you're good to go. So for a provisional cast on, you're going to want a length of yarn that is not your working yarn. I like to work directly from a ball. That way I don't need to guess the length. So this is not the working yarn for the pattern. This is just going to be used for the provisional cast on. So first what you're going to do is create a slip knot. And instead of loading it onto your knitting needle, you're going to place it on your crochet hook. So you're going to want to hold your tail along with your knitting needle and don't pull this loop too tight or else you're going to have trouble making your stitches. So make sure you leave that loop kind of loose on the first one. Cross your crochet hook over your knitting needle. Wrap your yarn around the back, catch it with the crochet hook and pull it through that first loop. There you go. Now you have one stitch on your needle. To create your second stitch, you're going to repeat that. Cross the crochet hook over the needle in the front, wrap the yarn around the back, catch it with the crochet hook, and pull it through the loop. Again, crochet hook goes across the needle on the front, yarn goes around the back, catch it with the crochet hook, pull it through the loop. Across the front, around the back, catch, pull it through across the front, around the back, catch, pull it through, across the front, around the back, catch, pull it through. Now once you cast on the number of stitches that you need, so I'll just throw on a few more here, just so we have something to work with, then you're going to create a chain and this will just help stabilize your provisional cast on. So to create a chain, you'll just use your crochet hook. Don't worry about the knitting needle. And, oh. Oh my goodness, there we go. And chain just a few stitches. Now a lot of people just pull the loop out like this, then they trim. and they leave the loop like that. Personally, I like to secure the loop and then unpick it when I go back, just because if I'm doing a provisional cast on for a large project, I wouldn't want that chain to unravel for any reason. Okay, so now that we have our provisional cast on, this is just scrap yarn. This won't actually be in our finished project. So this is not our first row. To create our first row, we're gonna push aside our scrap ball we're going to grab the yarn we're actually planning to work with. And then you're just going to add it in the way you would add in a new color, for example, in color work. So you'll insert your needle into the first stitch. You'll leave the tail in the back and then you'll just knit that first stitch with your new color. And you might have to hold on to the tail for your tension. Uh, but once you get a few stitches in, you can eventually let go of that tail. And this works for knitting in the round and for knitting flat. So if you were knitting in the round, you would just join as you normally do. If you're knitting flat, that's that. So now that we've knit across, this is our actual first row. And this is just our provisional cast on. Hope you found this helpful, and if there's anything else you would like to learn, let me know in the comment section below.